U.S. scientist states the fast way to slow global warming is by reducing non-CO2 emissions. Supreme Master Television recently had an exclusive interview with Dr. Kirk Smith, a professor of global environmental health at the University of California at Berkeley. Dr. Smith is also on the scientific advisory board of the White House Committee on Sustainable Development. Dr. Smith's speciality is studying pollution levels in rural areas where the impacts of global warming are felt most keenly. A crucial part of his research is in understanding the role of greenhouse gas emissions coming from gases other than CO2, such as methane. And carbon suits. We have to deal with CO2 uh, because that is the primary greenhouse gas. But CO2 is a very weak greenhouse gas. Its issue is it lasts a long time. What we emit today will be in the atmosphere for hundreds of years. Methane is a, the second most um, well known greenhouse gas, most uh, but is much more powerful. So the, uh, per molecule, you know, per carbon atom, um, methane uh, is, um, you know, maybe um, 30 times more damaging than CO2 by unit weight, which most people think about it in terms of weight, um, maybe 100 times. Scientists are increasingly reporting on the imperative need to minimize methane emissions. So many of us are saying, if you want to make an impact soon, slow down the melting of the glaciers, slow down the rise of sea level, and so on. Give us more time to deal with things. Give us society more time. Shouldn't you work more on methane? Humans indirectly produce huge amounts of methane through sewage treatment, landfills, natural gas leaks and coal mining among other activities. But Dr. Smith reiterates what many other experts are saying, that the single largest source of human caused methane is meat production. The biggest single source of methane emissions, human caused methane emissions, is Livestock. And there are a number of, of reasons to think that um, moving to a low, low meat consumption is beneficial. One is uh, greenhouse gases. It, already, uh, livestock is 20% of all greenhouse gas emissions. Uh, meat, excuse me, the meat system includes the animals, includes growing the food for the animals, includes the transport of the meat, includes the um, fertilizer to grow the food, to, grow, to feed the meat. We're not going to get out of this problem by doing everything we've always done. Dr. Smith emphasizes that the quickest way for individuals to halt global warming is by greatly reducing meat consumption. How are we going to get people to eat less meat? Do we move to have to tax meat? Get the pocketbook. When is the culture and the, you know, and the sort of uh, uh, people's idea of what's important changes? That, that works over time. But maybe the, in the short term we have to start thinking about taxing. You know, it's going to take a lot of effort, you know, of the media, like, like yourselves, and, uh, you know, maybe schools. We offer our deepest gratitude, Dr. Kirk Smith, for sharing your research insights on climate change. Many thanks for helping us better understand the significant environmental damage of methane emissions. We pray that all Earth citizens will join in switching to plant-based foods to rapidly curb global warming and protect all lives.